Hi guys, it's Harley from Vape Build. Today we're reviewing the Smock Morph 219 kit. If there's any diehard Smock fans watching, if I were you, I'd stop watching now. Let's enjoy. As you can imagine, this little beast is a dual 18650. Obviously by the name it goes up to 219 watts and it comes with a TFV, uh, TF tank That's right, not TFV, TF Which stands for Taste Furious, apparently Size wise the mod's 30mm by 45 by 85 Weighing at 160 grams Power range is 1 watt to 219 like I've just said Input voltage is 6.4 to 8.4 and the output voltage is 0.5 to 8.2 The little baby candle, anything from 0.1 ohms to 2.5 And on temperature control it can handle from 0.05 Because it's hot it can handle 200 to 600 Fahrenheit And apparently if you've ever heard of this you've probably heard that it's got a firing time of 0.0001 seconds Which I think even just stating that's a bit ridiculous because no, none of us have got a way of measuring that. Charging a mod by the charging port, it charges at 1.8 amps maximum. It's also got upgradable firmware as most smock devices do. Now a tank alone is stainless steel with a size of 30mm to 56mm. It weighs in at 75 grams. The standard version's a 6mm tank, the EU edition is a 2mm tank. It runs on a 510 thread. It's touch screen and apparently it's got an input keyboard but as far as I've seen that's only for the screen password yes it also has a screen password too for when you turn it off and on the mod's got the improved IQS chip apparently whatever that means who knows with vapors not nerds right mm -hmm. right it's got the fire bar same as the alien but it's also got an extra button up here for locking it comes in five colours and I'm going to read them because it's far too early to be memorising them all it comes in black and red, seven colour black, black and gold, prism and black, and prism chrome and black. So here's where all the smock fans want to stop watching. So let's start positive. The battery life lasted longer than I expected it to, uh, especially with the Phantom Dancer, but you can quite easily just put it in stealth mode by pressing the button and I know quite a lot of mods have got a dual press button to put it into stealth mode or whatnot or you go through a menu but it's really ideal to just press that button that button also locks and unlocks the touch screen which is handy because you don't want to be randomly pressing it the fire bar also does fire key lock by pressing it three times which is quite standard again for smart uh, but I do like it because a lot of mods I've had lately don't have that so easily to lock, lock in the uh, chewing buttons and locking the fire bars different, blah de blah. But this is quite simple to use in regards to locking. But let's be fair, there's no real different design element here. It looks exactly like the Alien or a mix between the Alien and the Jeep Rift 2. And I'm not going to lie, I think it's just standard. I don't think there's anything exceptionally good about it. There's, there's little bits that I think, oh, that's clever. Or, oh, that's better than I expected. But it is all just standard. It has grown on me a little bit over the week. But I don't think it stands out. The way it feels in your hands decent, but it doesn't stand out too much as exceptional. The flavour's okay, it's good, but it's not excellent. I've had better. Um, the airflow, it's standard. Everything's standard on it. Not Nothing screams out like when this is the best device in the world. So I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm not going to say don't buy one because it is pretty decent. But I'm sorry, I expected a little bit better off Smock. Smock's gone this massive downfall ever since the TFV8. And we were back up a little bit, but I expected something a lot better. And I do think the touch screens are more novelty than anything else. I'd have been quite happy with another two buttons here to change my wattage. But I don't want to lose this button either, I do like this button. So it's kind of taught me in two really guys. I'm, I, one part I want to say it's amazing, the other part I want to say it's rubbish. I don't know, but, but there's one thing I can definitely say. I don't dislike it. 
I don't want to keep it, but I would continue using it if I weren't getting it away. And another thing as well with the touchscreen, in my eyes that's something else to go wrong. If a touchscreen stops working, you've got no way of changing the wattage, you're doomed. So there you go guys, quite modest I suppose, but that's a smock. Morph. 219. So, the winner from last week's giveaway for the Horizon Nick Salt Stick Magico, which I really liked, is off to outspoken. Congratulations, we are talking to you last night, it's a great dude. Um, congratulations on that. The Smock Morph 219 kit is now up for giveaway, guys. Comment on this video, read the terms and conditions, make sure you subscribe for a chance of winning. All that malarkey, and then we'll announce the winner on next week's review video, which is Tuesday. I am doing a different type of review next week. It's a comparison video rather than a review. So I might do a separate video, but I will release it or at least announce it in the description below. And obviously I'll comment on the winning comment anyway. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Stay cloudy!